Coleco Industries Inc. was an American company founded in 1932 by Maurice Greenberg as the Connecticut Leather Company. It became a highly successful toy company in the 1980s, known for its mass-produced version of Cabbage Patch Kids dolls and its video game consoles, the Coleco Telstar dedicated consoles and Coleco Vision. While the company disappeared in 1988 as a result of bankruptcy, the Coleco brand was revived in 2005, and remains active to this day. Coleco Industries Inc. began in 1932 as the Connecticut Leather Company. The business supplied leather and shoe findings to shoe repairers. Shoe findings are the supplies and paraphernalia of a shoe repair shop. The company later branched out to selling rubber footwear. With the advent of World War II the demand for the company's supplies increased. By the end of the war the company was larger and had branched out into new and used shoe machinery, hat cleaning equipment and even marble shoe shine stands. By the early 1950s, and thanks to Maurice Greenberg's son, Leonard Greenberg, the company had diversified further and was making leather lacing and leather craft kits. In 1954, at the New York Toy Fair, the leather moccasin kit was selected as a child guidance prestige toy, and Connecticut Leather Company decided to go wholeheartedly into the toy business. In 1956, Leonard Reed of an emerging technology, the vacuum forming of plastic, which led the company to become very successful, producing an enormous array of different plastic toys and waiting pools. In 1961, the leather and shoe findings portion of the business was sold, and Connecticut Leather Company became Coleco Industries Incorporated. On January 9, 1962 Coleco went public, offering stock at $5.00 a share. In 1963, the company acquired the Kestrel Corporation of Springfield, Massachusetts, a manufacturer of inflatable vinyl pools and toys. This led to Coleco becoming the largest manufacturer of above-ground swimming pools in the world. By 1966, the company had grown so Leonard persuaded his brother Arnold Greenberg to join the company. Further acquisitions added to the company's growth, namely Playtime Products and Eagle Toys of Canada. By the end of the 1960s, Coleco ran 10 manufacturing facilities and had a new corporate headquarters in Hartford, Connecticut. The 1970s were difficult for Coleco. Despite this, sales exceeded $100 million. When Coleco became listed on the New York Stock Exchange in 1971 sales had grown to $48. 6 million. In 1972 Coleco entered the snowmobile market through acquisition. Poor snowfall and market conditions led to disappointing sales and profits. Under CEO Arnold Greenberg, the company entered the video game console business with the Telstar in 1976. Dozens of companies were introducing game systems that year after Atari's successful Pong console. Nearly all of these new games were based on General Instruments Pong on a chip. General Instrument had underestimated demand, and there were severe shortages. Coleco had been one of the first to place an order, and was one of the few companies to receive an order in full. Though dedicated game consoles did not last long on the market, their early order enabled Coleco to break even. Coleco continued to do well in electronics. The company transitioned into handheld electronic games, a market popularized by Mattel. An early success was Electronic Quarterback. Coleco produced two popular lines of games, the head-to-head -head series of two-player sports games, and the mini-arcade series of licensed video arcade titles such as Donkey Kong and Ms. Pac-Man. A third line of educational handhelds was also produced, and included the electronic learning machine, Lil Genius, Digits, and a trivia game called Quiz Whiz. Launched in 1982, their first four tabletop mini-arcades, for Pac-Man, Galaxian, Monkey Kong, and Frogger, sold approximately 3 million units within a year. Among these, 1. 5 million units were sold for Pac-Man alone. In 1983, it released three more mini-arcades, for Ms. Pac-Man, Donkey Kong Jr., and Zaxxon. The Coleco Vision video game console Coleco returned to the video game console market in 1982 with the launch of the Coleco Vision. The system was quite popular, and came bundled with a copy of Donkey Kong. The console sold 560,000 units in 1982. Coleco also hedged its bet on video games by introducing a line of ROM cartridges for the Atari 2600 and Intellivision, selling 6 million cartridges for both systems. Along with 2 million sold for the Coleco Vision for a total of 8 million cartridges sold in 1982. It also introduced the Coleco Gemini, a clone of the popular Atari 2600, which came bundled with a copy of Donkey Kong. 
When the video game business began to implode in 1983, it seemed clear that video game consoles were being supplanted by home computers. Bob Greenberg, son of Leonard Greenberg and nephew of Arnold Greenberg, left Microsoft where he had been working as a program developer at the time to assist in Coleco's entry into this market. Coleco's strategy was to introduce the Coleco Atom home computer, both as a standalone system and as an expansion module to the Coleco vision. The effort failed, in part because atoms were often unreliable due to being released with fatal bugs, and in part because the computer's release coincided with the home computer industry crashing. Coleco withdrew from electronics early in 1985. In 1983, Coleco released the Cabbage Patch Kid series of dolls which were wildly successful. Flush with success, Coleco purchased Leisure Dynamics and beleaguered Selchow and Ryder, manufacturers of Scrabble, Parcheesi, and Trivial Pursuit, in 1986. Sales of Selchow and Ryder games had plummeted, leaving them with warehouses full of unsold games. The purchase price for Selchow and Ryder was $75 million. That same year, Coleco introduced an ALF plush based on the furry alien character who had his own television series at the time, as well as a talking version and a cassette playing storytelling ALF doll. The combination of the purchase of Selchow and Ryder, the disastrous Atom computer, and the public's waning infatuation with Cabbage Patch dolls all contributed to Coleco's financial decline. In 1988, the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The abandoned Coleco building in Amsterdam, New York. The reorganized Coleco sold off all of its North American assets and outsourced thousands of jobs to foreign countries, closing plants in Amsterdam, New York and other cities. In 1988, Canada-based SLM Action Sports Inc purchased Coleco's swimming pool and snow goods divisions. In 1989, Hasbro purchased most of Coleco's remaining product lines. Coleco as a brand name has been owned by several entities since it was created in 1961 by Coleco Industries Inc. In 2005, River West Brands, now Dormitus Brands, a Chicago-based brand revitalization company, reintroduced the Coleco brand to the marketplace. In late 2006, the company introduced the Coleco Sonic, a handheld system containing 20 Sega Master System and Sega Game Gear games. In 2014, River West Brands established the subsidiary Coleco Holdings for their Coleco branded projects. In December 2015, Coleco Holdings announced the development of the Coleco Chameleon, a new cartridge based video game system, in actuality, a rebranding of the controversial retro VGS console whose Indiegogo campaign failed to secure funding when it ended in early November 2015, with only $63,546 raised of its $1.95 million goal. In the press release, it was established that the system would be able to play new and classic games in the 8, 16, and 32-bit styles. The release for the system was announced to be sometime in early 2016, with a demonstration at Toy Fair New York in February. However, some critics suggested that the prototype fell short of its developmental goals and was nothing more than the motherboard of a Super NES model SNS-101 inside an Atari Jaguar case. Later mock images of a prototype posted by Atari Age showed the device utilizing a CCTV capture card in place of a motherboard. After Retro VGS failed to produce a fully working prototype, Coleco Holdings pulled out of involvement with Retro VGS, terminating the project. Thanks for watching.